breaking news. There was a State Department confidential dissent channel used that warned of rapid territorial gains by the Taliban and the subsequent collapse of the Afghan security forces. It also called on the State Department to use tougher language to describe the atrocities being committed by the Taliban. There were 23 U.S. embassy staffers, all American, signed onto this cable. Uh, and the cable, uh, we do have recognition from uh, the State Department that Secretary Blinken does review all of those cables. You didn't put a timeline out when you said it was highly unlikely. You just said flat out it's highly unlikely the Taliban would take over. Yeah. Well, the question was whether or not it, the idea that the Taliban would take over was premised on the notion that the uh, that somehow the 300,000 troops we had trained and equipped was going to just collapse. They were going to give up. I don't think anybody anticipated that. Well, no one thought that this military was going to collapse except for your experts, your people on the ground. Like Logan said, with the Fast and Furious, with Benghazi, the people on the ground are being ignored once again. Instead of utilizing their information to your advantage, which is why you have them on the ground, if you're ignoring them for your political purposes, well, then you get the chaos that we have seen since Sunday. It is history repeating itself. You are seeing the same kind of stories as we did back. I mean, this, this has, obviously, shadows and shades of uh, Fast and Furious, where people were told what was happening beforehand, we were involved, and somehow it didn't get to the right people, and uh, chaos ensued, even though our intelligence said this is what would happen. The people on the ground, the assets we had on the ground, were warning the Biden team that this was exactly what we are seeing play out was going to happen. That's a recipe for disaster. When you remove the military from a conflict zone, but you leave behind the State Department and other Americans, it boiled over to the point on July 13th, 22 of the 23 people who work in the economic and political political sections at Embassy Kabul signed a dissent cable, which is a very rare thing. They went out of the chain and said, we are not being heard. We are in, in dire straits. We are in danger. Now that was July 13th. Fast forward, uh, the political teams in Washington at the White House, the NSC, and at the State Department and at the Pentagon ignored these warnings for two months and the disaster unfolded. They should have been listening. They should have been listening to State Department officials and intelligence officials. This wouldn't have happened. Top military advisors warned against withdrawing on this timeline. They wanted you to keep about 2,500 troops. No, they didn't. It was split. That, that, that wasn't true. That wasn't true. They didn't tell you that they wanted troops to stay? No, not, at, not in terms of whether we were going to get out in a time frame, all troops. They didn't argue against that. So no one, no one told your military advisors did not tell you, no, we should just keep 2,500 troops. It's been a stable situation for the last several years. We can do that. We can continue to do that. No, no one said that to me that I can recall. You know, he's so definitive, Logan. It's no, there does not. Then it was a, there was a there split, was a split, but that's I mean, that's, to me, that's the word that you look for right there. There, well, there was a split. People, which means there was people advising you, and people not advising you. Yeah. That's fine. Say that. Say there was a split, but then he had to double down at the end and say no, 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 no not that I can recall. They were being warned, Secretary Pompeo, by the people on the ground. Why do you think they ignored them? It is almost certainly the case that that dissent cable got to Secretary Blinken. It is almost certainly the case it got to so many. And I am confident that there were others, I'm sure, on the military side as well that told them the exact same thing. I can tell you that because we were concerned about this as well. We knew that we had to get the conditions right before we executed on the plan to get our final set of soldiers out there. We had to get the equipment out. We had to get the civilians out. We had to do all of those things. And so it's unsurprising me today that they got warned the fact that President Biden had said nobody told us. I thought it was deeply inconsistent with what I knew senior leaders inside the U.S. government believed about making sure we had the conditions right before the withdrawal was completed. What did you expect from the people that brought you Fast and Furious in Benghazi and the, the Iranian nuclear deal? These were people who thought you could trust the Iranians with nuclear with a nuclear deal. They have a worldview of just that is not realistic.